King of my city. Yeah. <laughs> now, my... Uh, Three, two, I'm sorry, one. I saw the tag male and it broke <laughs> my brain. So Stretch as a player, one thing that he's really good at, he'll put you in the corner and uses those nice, juicy disjoints that keep you there. So, uh, but against Pokolam, that's like an odd strategy, you know? Pokolam, you know, as a character, Villager will like putting himself in the corner or on it and giving himself space. So if Stretch, is, if Stretch manages to reliably exploit that, that's going to be huge. Oh, my God. No, I, I, it's really just as you said it right now. He didn't even go for the guaranteed damage with down throw. He just went straight for the ledge trapping. And Pokemon took about 63% just from that ledge trap sequence alone. Finding his way back through stage, but it's like in a weird way walking through a minefield or, or, or a bunch of thorns. We <laughs> down air the tree. Hey man, we, get, we don't like the forest out here. <laughs> or at least not Lucina. <laughs> Alright, aggressive return from the ledge. Find his way back. Doesn't want to get on the ground, though. Kind of really hard. The way Pokalam oh. is controlling the space. That was, I don't know if that forward tilt was the option he wanted to pick. And all of a sudden, this well-built, it felt, you know, he was kind of building himself, you know, a house. You know, the foundations of it were dropping Pokalam in the corner. And as oh he's just God. chopping this house down already, Stretch is taking 60. Oh, Pokalam's he healing back up. He got an apple from the... Ooh. That Nair Force match taking that stock pretty cleanly. Huge pickup for Stretch. This is like a Pokemon as a player specifically. When he gets a lead, it can just oh things just escalate. Yeah. It, it can snowball really fast. <laughs> this one not very uh no need for him to approach. Right there, he's got a nice old I wouldn't say a tree, but a nice foundation of a house. Again, no need to go in. Oh dear. I love the spacing right now between these two. You notice that po uh, that Stretch is trying to keep himself at a range where Pokemon is uncomfortable going for slingshots. Really now? I feel yeah. like... Well, because, because like, like right here, in this range right there, first of all, he just slides oh, right through it. Oh! oh my God. Nice How did he catch that? That was sick. He just caught the air dodge, man. He just no. That's the second forward smash also that he's managed to get here. Indeed. Two for two on these. Yes, my man's over here. Don't miss. Alright, on the ledge versus the villager. Oh, not the ledge. On, on the platform above the villager. Oh. Stretch me on into stay, cl stay close, but Pokemon not really giving him too much of an option to stay in. Like most of the game, either Pokemon's on the ledge away from Stretch, or Stretch is forcing him to the ledge. It's it's really weird, like back and forth with these two. Shield breaker, kind of scary. But Pokalam has just been doing such a good job keeping this lead and playing to it. Only taking about 170%, whereas Stretch already... I mean, this is death percent to something like another bowling ball, which yes. Pokalam has already shown. He loves to land. He will throw that bowling ball and let it drop with no remorse. He don't care about your doggin. He don't care if you wanted him to hit a strike. <laughs> Don't care about the noggin. No, you know, he's dropping a bowling ball on your head. You think he cares about your life at this point? <laughs> That's a lot scarier now that you've framed it like that, man. <laughs> like, I remember the first time seeing Villager, and then I see the bowling ball forest match. I'm just like, you dropped the bowling ball on your head? That's violent even for Nintendo. Ooh. <laughs> that kick. Gotta seal that first game out. Villager wins. Yeah, and I think that, like, the big difference, the reason why Pokalam took that, it was just he found these super early stocks at the bowling malls. Mm. You know, Stretch was able to keep things even. I feel like the neutral, honestly, Stretch was had the exact right idea. He was spacing himself really well. He was taking advantage of Pokalam whenever he was in the corner. And then he would die at seven. And it's like, <laughs> why try? <laughs> Fighting for his life. It is really rough though. It's actually really impressive for Pokemon to find those four, um, four smash kills. Cause that bowling ball is a commitment. You, mi you missed that, you kind of die. Alright, so we're gonna run it back here to Battlefield. Uh, Pokemon probably not gonna, you know, stray away from the game plan he had. Set up shop in the corner and just keep Stretch at bay away from him. I will say though, getting off the ledge versus Stretch is not an easy task. Pokemon making it look like Halloween candy. 
Ooh, that roll was so good. You know, we love to see, you, you see, Pokemon loves to draw that neutral air because of how lagless it is in the air. Uh, but Stretch with those disjoints, he doesn't care. He's like, no, I'm just going to hit you while it's still going off. Yeah, and they're not very good in the range department. Stretch really can't just swing, get a full combo at that, or just throw him into disadvantage. Kind of a scary Ooh. place! Woohoo! That was you! And also, I like the fact he uh, went for Shield Breaker to make sure that his forward smash wasn't stale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tiny little that. things. Simple things, you know, you gotta keep that, that big kill up nice and fresh. Right, uh, totally different game than last one. <laughs> 61%. So not only is his edge guarding good, but his this is let's having in general and punishes are just really a lot better this game. Yeah. Oh, just and now we're also seeing the fact that Lucina's sword is so chunky just eats through these projectiles that Pokelam is trying to use to close the distance. Uh, definitely looking more grim for Pokelam as he throws a whole bark of tree into his face. What an answer. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? I, so whoa, 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 whoa. I thought he wanted the free ball after that. Oh, no, so we can jump out of it. I believe. Oh, he jumped out of it before it hit the tree. Oh, my God, that was sneaky. Okay, Pokemon, you got it. You got it. I actually, I'm not 100% sure. I, that was so many things on screen. It's hard to keep track of absolutely every piece of crap. Whoa, hold on a second. That time he forward smashed, and the clank led the, this opportunity for Pokalam to actually get some real damage in. Talk about a blessing in disguise. Oh, not dead. Huge, huge. That's this little bit of space that Pokalam needed to set up his control again. Why would he go into his face? Okay, that works too. Oh, stretch. He managed to get such a solid lead going, and all of a sudden. Oh, and he is. Pokemon snatches that lead right from under his toes. Lucina is not a character that struggles to kill. Ugh. Also, that was actually <laughs> so freaking slick. Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. Carried up the. Alright, caught him mashing, and then now Pokemon found himself off stage. Yeah, we hadn't really seen bowling balls come out, despite the fact that they were such an integral part of uh, Pokemon's game one. He's kind of pulled back on him. I feel like he hadn't really gotten a chance. You know, a lot of this game, even though like it's the even stock right now, a lot of this game has been in like stretches control. Yeah, that's you're absolutely true. right, Maddie. That like in order to pull out the bowling ball, he needs to have a little bit more space than uh, Stretch has ever given him the chance to have. Yeah, man, he's like he's getting suffocated right now by seeing his uh, just dominatingly strong aerials. Look at that, swinging right through the Lloyd rocket. He don't care about that. Yo, neutral get up into Dray. That's bold. I know, he wanted the wood. He wanted the wood Ooh. so bad. Ooh, Ooh. 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 Why would you do it again? Because uh, he thought he was going to drop through the platform. Fair, fair okay. point. Fair point. So what suddenly looked like Stretch's game to win is now Stretch's game to lose. He is in a very dire situation right now, and... Pokemon is kind of, I want to say he's sitting pretty. Do I stretch playing? It can easily turn us around. But it's just, it's just not going to be easy. Ooh, Pokemon, that's, that's going to be, be it. Game. And there it is. Stretch played really well in that game, too. But Pokemon is just a little too sneaky, a little too consistent. And he wasn't able to finish stock.